Hi guys, Daniel here and welcome back to another one of my Epson printer how-to videos. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can connect your smartphone, whether it's an Apple iPhone or a phone running Google Android directly to your printer. So why would you want to do that? Well, it'll let you print, scan and copy from the phone. You can scan stuff in here to the phone and print directly images, etc., and documents directly to this. I'll also let you see supply statuses like inks and troubleshoot print nozzle, things like that. So this will work with the Epson EcoTank range and also Epson Workforce. I've got the EcoTank 2850, it's quite a popular model of the EcoTank printers, but it worked with models before and after that, same with the Workforce, depending on when you're viewing this video. So to get started, we need to connect the, what, the printer and the phone to the same wireless network. If you're printing your phone or on your router's wireless network, the same one, you can skip this step. Uh, if you don't have that and you just want to connect your phone to the printer just to, to print something quickly, then you can use something called Wi-Fi Direct, and I'll just show you the options now for that. Otherwise, you can skip this step. So we need to go to Settings, Network Settings, Wi-Fi Setup. The first option is basically connecting to your wireless network, your router, and if you go OK on that, it will show you some wireless networks and you enter the password that you know, and it will say it's connected. If you don't want to do that, you can go for Wi-Fi Direct. It'll set up a temporary wireless network with a password. It'll show you that on screen. And then on your phone, just get this, you'll see something like this and you connect to your phone directly to it. Just remember to connect to your normal network after if you don't want to be, remain connected to it for the internet, etc. So the next thing we need to do is we need to go to the App Store on an iPhone or the Google Play Store on an Android. And we need to search Epson. So there's two apps that appear. Uh, one is Epson iPrint, you don't want that one, although it does work, it's not as good as these, this one, the Epson Smart Panel. We will download that, it will take a few seconds to download. It's got a lot more options and it looks a bit better as well. It's a bit more user friendly. So once it, when it's downloaded, it'll ask for a bunch of things to be accepted and access to your local wireless network. And then you can select the printer. If you've got a few printers on your network, you need to know which one it is. I obviously know which one this one is. So once it's downloaded, we can then open it up. So we're gonna to have to agree to a bunch of stuff. We'd like, and this is the important thing, Epson Smart Panel would like to find and connect device to your local network. You need to go allow. Now it's now finding devices. So I've got a few things on here. And we're gonna go for 1.7, which is that one. It's now connected. And then it'll ask you how you want it to, to look. I prefer the tiles. And that's it really. It's And it'll ask you for latest firmware update. I'm not gonna do that at the moment. You can tap supply statuses up the top here, see the inks. And that's roughly the same as that. Uh, you can do all sorts of maintenance on it as well. It's a pretty good app. You can print and scan. So you can scan directly from the printer onto the app and then save to your phone. And there's a lot more features and options which I won't go into, but as you can see, it's very, very handy. So I hope that video is helpful to you. And if you've got any questions, please ask me in the comments. I'll try to help. Thanks for watching.